हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू वाटर सेट डिलीनिएशन मैपिंग फॉर दिस वी नीड अ डेम फाइल ऑफ आवर एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फर्दर मोर टू कंटिन्यू विद दिस वी हैव टू रन स्पेटियल एनर्जिस टूल इन व्हिच वी डील विद द हाइड्रोलॉजी टूल एंड इट इज फॉलोज बाय द डिफरेंट टूल दैट इज फील फ्लो डिरेक्शन फ्लो एक्यूमुलेशन स्नैप पोर पॉइंट वाटर सेड टूल साइमल्टेनियसली एज आई मेन्शन डी बिफोर इंटरिंग इन टू द स्पेटियल एनालिस टूल आई वॉन्ट टू फोकस यू ऑन द स्नैप पोर पॉइंट फॉर दिस वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ पोर पॉइंट दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड इट वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ सेफ फाइल बाय गोइंग ऑन द कैटलॉग इन क्रिएटिंग इट ऑन द डिजायर लोकेशन गो टू न्यू and create a shape file and give it a name and feature type must be a point and put a coordinate system as your data otherwise it will get a datum conflict later on if we run the tool after that click okay but i have already clear created it so that i cancel it after creating a pore point uh, go on editor tool start editing that pore point continue with it now create feature and click on that created say file pore point and here construction tool and click on it then uh put the cursor where you want to take a xy coordinate i put cursor here and look at the coordinate here it gives xy coordinate then right click on anywhere and put that xy coordinate we have taken from this and i have put my xy coordinate after this after after that it uh, goes to that coordinate point then after this we have to go to the arc box tool and then to spatial analysis tool and then to hydrology tool and then run fill input raster that means our dem file and we have to i have leave it as default as it is not the final output we needed so that i run it simply okay stop edit now once check this dem file run flow direction input fill raster and save it on the default as it is not the final output Hey, this is the field direction raster output. Ah, uh, it's in quite attractive. Now run flow accumulation tool. Put flow direction and save it on the default and run it.
uh, this white uh, line on this black image shows the water sources major water sources that it is and we have a snap pore point here so we have to find out the snap distance from the main main sources so take a measure tool and measure it simply from here to the it is 65 70 75 75 now I take 75 meter and I close it now I run snap power point put power point file input accumulation file and put the snap distance that we are we have measured and run it now run water set tool put flow direction file Put uh, that snap pour point uh, output, then run it. Uh, from that point we have got this region of of water sources that it is that it have covered now on tick flow accumulation flow direction fill in our this boundary data now convert it to vector file that is polygon raster to polygon input our raster file I save it in the default and run it Here we got the vector file or the polygon. I am on and on check this water flow. Now make this hello and check the damp file our main damp file initial damp file and extract the data by max input raster our main dem file and max data our converted polygon and run it simply or you can uh, put anywhere as you desire 
I leave it to the default. Now this is the final output we are looking for. Now convert or change it color layer ramp. This. Oh, this is our final result. In this way, I concluded this video. Thanks for watching.